Hello, wonderful Reach for Excellence scholars. This is Mrs. Christian, and to make this little presentation a bit more fun for you, I also have Bear here. And today we are going to start our journey through the Hispanophone or Spanish-speaking world with the country of Spain. I hope you're excited. I know I am. All right, so let's take a look, and I'll see if I can actually get this guy to present. There we go. All right, starting off with Spain or España. Slowly loading. All right, here we go. So where is Spain actually located? Spain is located in Europe. As you may have seen, it's by France and Portugal. And you'll also see here that a lot like the United States, it is made up of a bunch of different states and as a few islands as well. The weather and geography in Spain are very similar to the weather and geography in the US because if you look at our li lines of latitude, um, Georgia would probably be around here weather-wise. So the further north we go in the US, it gets colder, rainier, and the further south like Florida, it gets hotter. So Spain is very similar that way. All right. We've got the Spanish flag here. It has the coat of arms and it's red and yellow. The capital of Spain is Madrid and a lot of people really compare it to New York City. It's big, it's bustling. Um, it's a big tourist destination as well. And in terms of their currency, they use the Euro since they are a part of the European Union. The language is spoken there, obviously Spanish, but also Catalan, which is mostly spoken in the northeast region, Catalonia, as well as French. Again, that northeast region is right up by it and some English. Tourism is huge, so lots of languages. The national pastime is football or soccer. You'll see that as a theme in a lot of our Spanish speaking countries. And a very common way of eating in Spain is called tapas, which are small little plates, usually with a lot of seafood, ham, or food that comes from a pig is also really popular in Spain as well. Tourism, like I said, a huge part of the economy, um, and a lot of people say that living there, if they've also lived in the U.S., it's very similar. So a lot of similarities there. And we are going to get started with a virtual field trip to Spain. From here, you're going to go back to Google Classroom and use the link to the interactive map. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for showing up and for being here. Hasta luego. See you later.